everybody. Today we are going to be talking about the ears of our English Cocker. So we're going to be clipping the inside of the ear and then we're going to be cleaning it so that we can maintain good ear health. So let's jump right in and get started. We're going to clip that inside of the ear and then clean it. So we're going to be talking about the inside of the ear. So the ear flap itself is called the leather and then this part that starts to go into the inner ear that has all these grooves and everything is called the burr and then we go down and inside is the ear canal. Um, our dogs have ear canals that are kind of shaped like an L so when we lift the ear up um, it goes down and then in towards the skull. So it's not like a straight line in or anything. Um, it has an angle to it. So when we're cleaning our ear, we're going to be flushing it out today so that we can reach all the way down there and not just clean this outer ear burr. So right now we're going to be clipping this area clean to get rid of a lot of this hair. He doesn't have hair growing down in his ear canal that's very long or anything. So we're just going to be kind of clipping this outer ear. And today we're going to be using a 40 blade, which is extremely short. So get this hair really, really short. Um, his skin is tolerant of that because it's been worked up to using something that short. But if your dog hasn't had this area clipped regularly and you were to go in with a really short blade, you would um, create a lot of irritation. So if this is something you're doing for the first time with your dog, or it's just not something you do very often with your dog, you wanna use a 10 blade. Now that we have a nice clean slate that isn't hairy anymore, we're going to be lifting up our ear and taking our ear cleaner and pouring it down into the ear. Just a few small squirts down there and then we're going to be closing the ear and we're going to massage. When you're gently holding up that ear, you can kind of feel with your hand what you're doing and you're going to hear the ear cleaner gushing around inside that ear. That was perfect. So after we, <laughs> after we clean that ear and massage it, we want to let our dog's ear go and let them shake just like Ernie did perfectly. This is obviously not his first time uh, doing this. He loves getting his ears cleaned. And then we're just gonna take a cotton ball and we're going to wipe up that outer ear, anything that is residually there. We don't want any excess moisture. This particular ear cleaner has a good amount of alcohol in it, so it dries up really nicely and doesn't leave anything in the ear itself, but the ear cleaner is purple, so that's why our cotton ball is purple, but there is nothing really in here. His ear was pretty clean to begin with, so that's good. So we wanna just continue um, cleaning the ears on a regular basis in order to maintain a good and healthy ear. So once we complete the uh, clippering of the inside of the ear and we have flush it all out, we can do the same thing to the other side of the ear, and then our dogs are able to maintain that nice and good healthy ear. Something to keep in mind is to start off with a 10 blade when you're working. 
um, with the ear, especially if your dog hasn't had their ears clipped in a while, their skin needs to work up to a shorter uh, length of hair that can be maintained there. And another thing to keep in mind is that every dog's ear is different. Um, maybe your dog has a little bit more sensitive skin or your dog's ear shape is just different. And so the burr of the ear, all those little twists and turns and everything um, might look different, might be smaller, or they might have some skin tags on the ears. A lot of times um, there are little tags on the inside of the ear that we want to be really careful of when we're using a clipper because um, just like I've mentioned in the past, um, those moving parts of the clipper between the guard, um, anything that becomes, anything that comes between those two pieces of metal will be cut, whether it's hair, skin, or whatever it is. So we want to be really careful so that we're only cutting hair on our dogs and keeping them safe. I hope that was helpful. I think that's a really important aspect of maintaining our English Cocker's health and their ear health. So thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe if this was interesting to you so that I know to make more content like this. Thank you. Bye.